Before we get into lambdas and functional programming, I should address uh, an important question that I do get when I talk about lambdas. Uh, uh, do we really need functional programming? We have been coding with object-oriented programming for many, many years now. Isn't that good enough? Why do we even need functional programming? It's a fair question, and we have actually been coding for many years, and there are like many millions of lines of Java code that are out there using just object-oriented programming. And yes, you can do pretty much anything you can do in Java using just object-oriented programming. So functional programming doesn't really let you do anything new that you couldn't have done before. What functional programming lets you do is really write better code, more readable code, and so more maintainable code. Because if you think about it, at the end of the day, all we are doing is writing machine code, right? Machine uh, instructions. And there is a reason we don't write assembly language code, because it's hard to write and it's hard to maintain. The more complex your application code becomes, the harder it is to write code using that kind of a syntax, and which is why you have all these other programming paradigms. Think of functional programming as another programming paradigm, which lets you write code which is elegant in certain situations. We are not going to be done with object-oriented programming. Java is inherently an object-oriented programming language, and it'll continue to be so. Just think of functional programming as another tool in your toolbox to use when the situation is right, when the right kind of problem surfaces, okay?